Hey, good afternoon. Happy Sunday, everybody. I am jumping on. I just gotta do a little makeup. Um, nothing too crazy. Just chilling at home today. Um, packing, getting stuff ready together to uh, get ourselves moved. We oh, hate packing. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Um, I don't know. It's like the bane of my existence. It's like the packing and then the going through stuff and the junk drawers and oh, all the things, guys. All the things. I got to do all the things. Anyway, sorry. I'm adjusting myself here. Hey, Brittany. Hey, Roger. Hi, guys. Thanks for jumping on. If you're watching, just, you know, wave. Give me a little emoji or something so I know that you're watching with me. Um... So anyway, so yeah, so packing to move, getting stuff together. Hubby and I have been running around like crazy, um, but it's it's all good things. Finally, finally, all good things, all good things. All right, so I'm just gonna put a little makeup on. Thought maybe we could just have some little life chat, you know, all that fun stuff while I sit here and do this. Uh, adjust my camera a little bit more here. If it slides off and I lose you guys, I'm I'm sorry. I have this whole thing like totally jerry rigged. Anyway, um, let's just get down to it. So, uh, what's everybody doing today? Besides, you know, church or whatever it is y'all do on Sunday. I know hubby and I just chill. You know, we just take the day to just relax and hang out with little man and just kind of do our thing. So, what's everybody doing? gonna make up here y'all we've got some super exciting stuff coming down the pipeline this month I'm gonna get into all that in a little bit yep 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 so y'all I'm thinking about getting a I think I'm getting a tattoo okay I'm really I'm really thinking about it. So any of my tattooed friends who might be watching this, give me a shout out. Let me know my whole, like the whole thing I'm nervous about is the pain. And my hubby keeps telling me if I can handle getting my face pierced, then I can handle a tattoo. I don't know. He's got such a high pain tolerance. So, you know, his didn't really hurt, but that's what's holding me back, you guys. That's, like, the only thing holding me back right now. So, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. Anyone out there. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm, like, in love, you guys. I keep... Hey, Brandy! Hello, lovely! Uh, so, I keep obsessing over this brow palette, you guys. I'm like, seriously love this. Uh, it's my favorite thing ever. And I'm about to order another one, just in case. She can never have too many brow palettes, in my opinion. And I just darkened my hair back up, so I kind of feel like I need to start not using this lighter brunette. But, you know what, whatever. It still works, I think. <laughs> Right? Still works. Brandy, how's the cabin going, girl? Shoot, you guys have been up there working your little booties off for a minute. How's all that? You guys about done up there? I would love to see pictures of the cabin. I'm like obsessed with the mountains. I like I don't know, I'm not, like, I live in St. Louis, y'all, and I am not a city girl, you guys. I'm not. I might look like I am, but, you know, my heart is small town all the way. I'm glad I moved here. I met my hubby, so I'm glad that everything worked out the way it did. But, man, I miss, I miss that, like, just small hometown feel. Brandy, I bet you are. Gosh, you've been doing a lot of like little projects, like your cute shutters and your porch. I love the black, by the way. Love it. So stinking cute. 
But yeah, I bet y'all are working your high knees off. Brandy, I love it. How often do you guys go up there and just chill out? Hey, Stephanie. Girl, we are just talking life talk right now. Nothing crazy. Nothing, you know, I just thought I'd get on here. We could talk life talk, okay? Life is crazy right now, you guys. I mean, there's just so much crazy going on in the world right now. <sighs> don't even get me started. Don't even, don't even get me started on all that. I cannot. I just, I can't. Yeah, Brandy, I bet. Hey, Courtney. Thanks for jumping on. All right, you guys, I'm going to prime my eyes here for my eyeshadow. I am just going to do a super simple look today. Um, I call it my lazy look. <laughs> uh, but I'm just going to do something simple, nothing too crazy. Um, so I'm going to prime my eyes. I'm going to use our Moodstruck Eye Primer. I love this stuff. By far the best eye primer I've tried. Anyway, that's that. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, Brandy. Girl, that that palette seven. Oh man, I was I was unsure when I got that in the mail, I won't lie, because the colors are a lot bolder in person. And I was like, uh uh oh. But oh girl, it's like my new favorite. That palette seven. I have pictures, if nobody saw it, I have pictures on my uh beauty page. Y'all have to go check out palette seven. It is amazing. Amazing. Truth, yes. Truth, girl. All right. Da, 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 da. So I hope everybody is being is staying safe. Like, you know, the world. Like, just, you know, I think I saw some. I saw something the other day that was. Uh, can we plug 2020, can we unplug 2020 and plug it back in? I'm like, we need to hit the restart button, y'all. Seriously. Crazy. Crazy times. Uh, you guys, I have discovered the most amazing beauty routine. Recycle. Brandy, aren't like for real though, right? I don't even know like what is happening right now. It is so unreal. I remember ringing in the new year and going, 2020 is going to be the best year yet. I mean, it's been good for our family. I'm not going to lie to you. Our, we've had, we've been seriously blessed, you know, with everything we've had. We've definitely had some trials in the beginning. I'm not going to lie to you guys. The beginning of the year was really rough. Hubby fell out of his work truck and broke his leg and had to have surgery and that was crazy 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 you know um oh my gosh eric brewer how are you feeling please please comment let me know how you're feeling um eric brewer is a guy i've known since i was like tiny little itty bitty and he's been really sick with uh covid and um pneumonia you guys this is like real stuff so give him a little shout out We've been praying for you. My goodness. Anyway. Um, but yeah, so hubby broke his leg and had surgery. And with COVID going on and all that craziness, he couldn't go get his stitches out. So I took his stitches out for him. Uh, that was fun. I actually really enjoyed it. And that might sound weird and creepy, but I did. I really enjoyed it. Um, so I took his stitches out. I am so unprepared today. I'm all over the place today, guys. Um... So anyway, but he's doing really good. He's doing really good now. Getting along, getting around. So we're happy about that. You know, could be worse. Could be way worse. So we're very fortunate. All right. Brandy, we're going on to the eyes. Are you ready for this? Here we go. Thanks, Brandy, for giving him that little shout out. I know. I saw it on Facebook the other day and I was like, what? What? You gotta be careful, guys. Still out there. It may not seem like it is, but it's still out there, y'all. So just wear those masks. It's all about the eyes. That's why it's all about the eyes right now. Okay, Brandy, I'm gonna use this palette. 
And I think I'm just gonna go a little neutral today. What do you think? Yeah, I'm gonna do, um, I think I'm gonna do a couple blues and maybe some gold in there. It's kind of what I'm leaning towards, but nothing too dark and crazy. So I'm gonna start with Cheerful. It's this really pretty lighter blue here, if y'all can see that. I really like this palette. This is palette addiction number four. So stinking pretty. Love these colors. I love our addiction palettes. I love our press shadows too. I really do. Hey Trina, what are you doing girl? You working? Trina's in the house. Yes, she is. Whoop, whoop. That kind of matches my shirt. What do you guys think? Kind of matches my shirt a little bit. I really like this. It's really pretty. <laughs> Fixing to start my makeup. Girl, do it that makeup going I'm just gonna build this color I'm all over here like I'm gonna do light colors today nothing too crazy nothing too dark and look at me I'm like building this color again it nice and dark uh, well you know what can I say go figure right I can't help it I don't know what I did with my oh there they are oh well whatever my little wipes over there that's what it is I'll clean this up with my eyeshadow or my uh not my eyeshadow, my uh, foundation. All right, and then we're gonna. I'm gonna take my in the crease. I'm gonna go this lighter. Actually, I think I think I'm gonna do a pop of gold in the crease today. This is secretive. Really pretty. I like this color. Just do a little little gold in there. And mix it in with that blue. I love blue and gold. Maybe because I'm a blues fan. I don't know, but. I just think they go well together. Not everyone would agree, but hey, you know, to each their own, right? I really like that. What do you guys think? Isn't that pretty? Hey, Lauren. What up, boo? Yes, girl. Yes, Stephanie. Blue and gold, go blues. I cannot wait until hockey season. I am not a sports fan, you guys. I don't do sports. I was raised with a, like, sports mama. My mama is all about sports. She played basketball in high school. She ran track. Would have played football if they had let her. Like, all the things, okay? And I came out, hey, Annie. I came out the one, you know, that is not into all that. I don't do sports. I played basketball in high school. I did. It was fun, but it wasn't like, you know, I don't know. It just wasn't my jam. But hockey, y'all, hockey is legit. I am a huge hockey fan. I would play hockey if I could ice skate, but I cannot. Y'all, that is a whole nother story for a whole nother day. I can't, I cannot ice skate. I can't roller skate. I can't ice skate. <sighs> scary it's scary stuff seeing me out there you know so I just don't do it I'm on my butt most of the time so I just avoid it at all cost all right let's see what do I want to do now I'm gonna do this lighter blue we're gonna go up and over this gold a little bit I don't want to do too much I don't want to take away that gold okay just like that all right we're gonna go back, I'm gonna head back to my eyeshadow palette here. Find my, where's my baby? There it is, my little baby brush. And I'm gonna highlight up under, hi Taylor. Hey, how are you guys doing? I'm just gonna highlight up under that brow, okay? You guys, I had my first class on Thursday. It's a Zoom class, which I've never done a Zoom class before. And I'm a little nervous. Y'all haven't been in school since 2007. And, uh, 
not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous for it, but I'm excited. It's gonna be good. It's a skincare class, actually. Um, a Zoom class for skincare. And I'm excited about that because I've become super passionate about skincare. I think it's super important. So I'm really excited about this class uh, coming up. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, the instructor is a famous makeup artist from New York. And uh, I got my little introductory, introductory from him. I can't talk. Uh, and he seems like a super nice guy, you guys. Super down to earth. So I'm really, I'm excited to learn from him. Um, and I'll, you know, of course I'll jump on and teach y'all what I learn about skincare, which I've got this new skincare routine and I'm loving our Uology products for that. Just, you know, the cleanser, the, the mask. Hey Sean, uh, everything just jamming out with it. I have a whole routine and hubby kind of giggles at me a little bit cause it's like wash, mask, moisturize, toning spritz, and then I'm ready the whole thing but my skin looks the best it's ever looked the best it's ever looked all right uh you guys know I'm obsessed with the mattifying face primer so we're gonna use that today before our foundation obsessed obsessed y'all I'm still trying to nail hubby down and do this mask with me Hey, Sophie, your little baby plants on Instagram are adorable. I absolutely love, love, love your green thumb. I wish I had a green thumb, but I do not. Well, that's okay. <laughs> I mean, it's going to have to be okay. I'm never going to have plants. I kill them all. I don't know if any of you have seen uh, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, but the little, if you have, you'll know like what I'm talking about, about the little love fern that she gets him. You're welcome, Sophie. I seriously, like, they're so cute. Uh, but that little love fern that she gives him and then he, like, kills it, that's me, you guys. Hubby would give me a love fern and be like, this is our love, nurture it and grow it, and then I would kill it, and then it would be a whole thing. And It's just, I've never had a green thumb, ever. Uh, and, of course, you know, I'm going to use our spray foundation, my Touch Unique spray foundation. I'm obsessed. I ordered our BB cream and I'm super excited to try it, but I don't know. I'm pretty obsessed with this spray foundation. And the coverage that it gives me. Okay. Serious coverage on this bad boy here. Okay. I'm going to be showing you guys a couple of my secrets today for a couple of our products, some different ways you can use some of our stuff. I'm excited to show you that. I know I've showed you uh, the liquid foundation, and or not the liquid foundation, the uh, liquid uh, eyeshadow. I've showed you that and the different ways you can use that. And so today I'm going to show you a couple other things, a couple different ways you can use them. Uh, super excited about that. I love how versatile our products are. You know, you don't have to use the eyes on the eyes. You don't have to use the lips on the lips. You don't have, you know what I mean? Like, you don't have to use the blush on the cheeks. Like, you get multiple uses out of one product. It's amazing. You can really tie all that in together. Really nicely, I love it. Okay. Got it all in my hair. Oh well. It's alright. Not sure I'm really gonna do anything much with my hair today. We'll see. Probably not. Darkened it back up yesterday and I'm so happy. Quarantine hair is gone. My quarantine hair is finally gone. Thanks to hubby. Yeah, hubby helps me with my hair. He's awesome. All right, see that coverage? 
I'm obsessed with the coverage on this foundation. Um, you know, it gets really gets helps get rid of that birthmark I have. Okay, and I talk about that birthmark all the time, and I just, I don't know. I just, I'm, I don't know, I'm obsessed. All right. Now I'm gonna do my contour and all that fun jazz. Highlighter contour palette ordered. Trina, I've been toying with the idea of ordering that contour palette. So when you get it, let me know, cause I wanna try it. Let me know what you think of it. And then I might get on board. I'm trying to get our stick foundation and our concealer, but I, my colors are out of stock right now. They're coming back, they're coming back. They're just out of stock right now. So as soon as those come, I will give up the stick contour and my concealer once and for all. Oh, I cleaned my sponges yesterday, last night, and they feel so much better. No more sticky pulley because of all the excess product on them. Feel so much better. Contour palette is bomb. Is it? Brandy, is it hard to use? I've used some contour palettes that are a pain to use. So shout out and tell me if it's hard to use or not. So if it's not, then that's awesome and I'll try it. I had someone ask me, uh, easy peasy. Okay. That's good to know. Um, I had someone tell me the other day that contouring scared them and it looked really hard. Girl, I am using uh, e.l.f. concealer wand right now. Um, sorry, sorry Brandy, I am. I'm using the e.l.f. 16 hour camo is what I'm using. Uh, and that only reason I'm using that is because my concealer from Unique has not um, they don't have my color yet. And that's the only reason I'm still using the e.l.f. Not that I have any complaints about the e.l.f., you guys, but I love all of our unique products, and so I definitely want to switch all my makeup over because I've been so happy with the results I'm getting with all of our other products. So happy. Uh, I really love our... Uh, I really love our eyeshadows too. I don't, I'm not a big fan of eyeshadow, you guys. I don't really wear it a lot. Um, well, I, I take that back. I didn't really wear it a lot um, because I don't like the fallout that I get from eyeshadow during the day and it would always get down in my eyes and then my eyes would burn and itch and all that stuff. And I absolutely hate that. Get down on my glasses and speckle my glasses. I'm cleaning my glasses every five minutes, it seems like. I don't, you don't, uh, you don't get that. You don't have that issue with our eyeshadow. I have never had an issue with any kind of fallout from our eyeshadow and I absolutely love it. And I, I really think too, that it's because it's, it's already got like a primer base in it. Um, and I think that helps, but yeah, I, I highly recommend our eyeshadows. My father-in-law just jumped on you guys. Hi dad. <laughs> what's up okay so there's that um yes annie our spray foundation all of our foundations really i'm gonna be honest i love all of our foundations but our spray foundation is probably my favorite and i really like it because it gives you that airbrushed finishing look that i really love with the makeup without having to actually use an airbrush because that's a that's a whole nother world you have to get into <laughs> went a little higher on the contour than I meant to today, but that's all right. It's okay. Not the end of the world. So what's everyone doing today? What are our plans for Sunday? Anything fun? 
it's hot outside or at least that's what um hubby was saying i have not been outside yet today but hubby was saying it's really warm out probably pretty humid i would guess <laughs> work what time you go in trina allergies anybody else's allergies bugging them my goodness gracious oh sorry guys pollen 2020 you crazy y'all okay blend this out i'm gonna pick up a great dane and go to the cabin to work on it some more. A Great Dane! Like a new one? Are you getting a puppy, Brandy? Oh my gosh, if you're getting a puppy, I gotta see pictures. Okay. Shoot, just send me pictures anyway. I love Great Danes, they're so sweet. I love them. Yeah, Trina allergies really do suck. They really, really do. All right, so there's my contours a little off, but that's all right. Fix it a little bit here. It's a little better. Okay. So now I'm gonna set. I'm gonna set this with our um, Touch Behold setting powder. This is a translucent setting powder, um, perfect for any skin type and skin tone and skin shade and skin anything. This is perfect for that because it's tr it truly is translucent, you guys. There's no there's no color to this at all. I love it. Absolutely love this stuff. Okay, perfect. All right, a little more on my forehead, big old forehead here. All right, there we go. Well, so that is set. That's not going to go anywhere. Okay. And that is not moving. I don't have it all over me now, but hey, that's all right. Okay. So now I've got my, uh, found my foundation set and all that fun stuff done and set. So the next thing I'm going to move on to is I'm going to put on some eyeliner. Um, where did that go? There it is. So I am using the Dip and Draw in Proper, which is brown, but a really pretty brown. I love that. Okay. Pretty. I like this. There's our wing. Yay with the wing. I'm sorry guys, I cannot talk and put eyeliner on at the same time. 
I'll poke myself in the eyeball. Okay. One thing I really love about our dip and draw eyeliner is the fact that um, with allergies and stuff, my eyes water really bad especially for some reason my left eye specifically. Um, and our dip and draw doesn't move, which I absolutely love that it's, it's on there. Like you guys, it's not going anywhere. So my eye can water and I don't have to worry about getting like that crazy smeared, like insane, whatever. Love it. Okay. So that's the dip and draw in proper. And now I'm going to wings yes i'm getting a little bit better okay they're not quite even but they're getting a, they're getting a little better we're getting there we are definitely getting there practice 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 okay all right so now from under my eye i'm gonna do the white precision eyeliner right on my waterline gives us a bolder eye you guys see that just right on the waterline there I'm also gonna do a little bit in the corner it just really makes our eyes pop Ding. Then I'm going to take my angled brush and we're going to move this blue uh, cheerful eyeshadow down a little bit here, just about halfway, okay, just halfway. Okay, then I'm going to take um, another brush here, going in with that gold, that secretive, and filling in the rest of this right here, okay, with that secretive. Really bringing those blues and golds together back down on my under eye. And then I'm gonna take this little guy here. We're gonna go back to the eyebrow palette. I'm gonna take this cream right in here and I'm gonna do this in the corner. Okay. Let me brighten that inner eye up a little more. Okay. And while I have this out, I'm gonna touch up my eyebrows and get that filled in again. This time we're just filling in though. We're not having to create those lines. We're not having to do any of that because we've already got the base of our eyebrow in there. We're just filling in from that lightening up that the setting powder did. Okay. A little touch up, a little maintenance, that's all. Oh, that is. Ladies, I want to know how you guys, anyone who's watching, drop me below and tell me, I want to know how everybody self-cares. This has been a really important thing that I'm learning last few months with some things that hubby and I have gone through, the importance of self-care. And I'm just always curious. I'm just always curious to know how people self-care. I self-care by meditation and makeup. That's how I self-care. Um, I have discovered meditation. I absolutely love it. Um, it's just a time for reflection and um, brings peace to my mind and helps me get calm and all that, especially right before bed. And then I make up when my baby boy is napping. Um, 
you know, hubby's home still with his leg and whatnot. And so he'll take his time. He goes out and he likes to sit on the porch in the sun and listen to music and stuff. That's his self-care. And I'll make up and everything. And that's my self-care. And I think self-care is super important for men, for women, for everybody. So I just always am curious how everybody self-cares. Just curious. Let me know what you do. We can talk about it. All right. I'm going to go back in. A little more highlight on that brow. Because, you know, because we can. I would love to learn more about it. Brandy, I would love to talk to you more about it. Girl, hit me up. Send me a message. I love meditation. It is... Uh, you make up in music. Yes, Brandy. I normally have music blaring right now. If I was not talking to you all, I would have music going like crazy. Because that's... I agree. That's one of the best ways to self-care. Make up in music. It's just your peace time. That's your you time. Your moment to just drown everything else out. I love that. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I'm going to blush and I'm going to highlight. So the blush I'm going to use today, I used yesterday and it's our crushed shadow in melodious. So I'm going to use this as a blush. Definitely steps me out of my comfort zone. I normally don't wear blush, but And yes, I am using a crushed eyeshadow as blush. It's one of those things I told you guys. A lot of, like, all of our products are versatile. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Aw, thanks, Trina. You're so sweet. I love you. just running over that contour line that's all I do I just run over the uh, contour line a little bit okay and then I'm gonna highlight and I'm gonna use our touch all the mode in in iridescent we go right under my eye here brighten that eye up a little bit more tip of my nose cupid's bow above my eyebrow a little bit right there in the middle and then I take my fan brush go right above that blush <laughs> thanks Brandy hey if you're gonna make up make up you know what I mean go all in Today was supposed to be my supernatural, <laughs> and then I got going with it, and I was like, ah, forget it. I can't just do natural. I got to do something poppy. Got to go bold with it. Okay. Now, I'm going to do my lips. Um, I'm still warming up my mascara, so I'm going to go ahead and do my lips, and as you all know, I got to flip these around because, you know, well, because. Um, so what I'm going to use for lips today, you guys might think I'm kind of crazy, but I absolutely love this. So I am going to do, and I did it yesterday, but I thought I'd show you on here, our Moodstruck Splurge Cream Shadow in the color Tenacious. And this is going to go on my lips today. And the way I do it is I just take a little bit of moisturizer, or you can use chapstick or whatever it is that you want to use, concealer, just anything. And I'm just going to do a little papal on my lip here. I totally just experimented with this. I had talked to Brandy about it a while back, and then I finally got mine in the mail. And it's not, you would see it, and you'd be like, you are not going to put that on your lips. But you guys, it's so pretty on the lip. Now, the reason I did that is just to get some moisture in there, because if you don't, you're going to dry that lip out. And you don't want to dry your lip out. So let's get some moisture on there and then I'm going to take this and this is the color that it is. I know it's going on my lips. Y'all don't worry. It's going to be fine. I promise. So I'm just going to grab some here. I'm using a little 
little lipstick brush to apply this. Okay, I have yet to use this on my eyes. How funny is that? I have not even used this on my eyes yet. It has only been for lips so far. This would be a great color to ombre with, okay? If you just lined like your outside lip. Look at that. Guys, that's a cream eyeshadow. Isn't that like mind blowing, right? Um, you could set this too with our setting powder, uh, or you could just leave it. <laughs> Trina! <laughs> You're my woman crush. Look at that. So pretty. Isn't that poop? It's like, I'm addicted to this as a lip color now. I will never use this on my eyes because <laughs> I'm addicted to it as a lip color. And I am not one. I have a lip color that is gray. It is like a dark gray with a little shimmer in it. It's really wow and so i'm not one to wear your normal lip colors like the day that i had that red lip crushed lip stain on and curvaceous that was bold for me that was out of my comfort zone i'm more of like a dark lip so when i tried this yesterday i was obsessed absolutely obsessed okay so that is that is that so i'm gonna set this with a setting spray now you can use our setting spray or you could use our toning spritz as a setting spray if you would like. You don't have to use a setting spray, you can just use our Touch Behold Translucent Setting Powder, but I like to just really reinforce this makeup. Okay, really reinforce that. Uh, that way I don't sweat it off while I'm chasing my toddler around. Thanks, Brandy. Oh, thank you. You guys are so sweet. I love you. Okay. So I've been, um, I've been sitting on my mascara, warming it up. I learned this trick from the lovely ladies in my little unique family. And the reason we, we warm our mascara up, you can sit on it, you can put it in warm water, you can stick it in your bra, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to roll with. But the reason we warm up our mascara, our, um, specifically our 4D, is it really releases those fibers and really helps disperse them onto your lashes and give you that longer, fuller, more um, falsy effect, okay? So, I'm going to use, um, I always do, now you don't have to do this, okay, but I like to because I just, I like to and I feel like it really makes that 4D pop more. So I use one coat of our Mood Struck uh, mascara. This one is in black, okay. And I will use, um, I also have their, the brown and I'll use the brown. I used it the other day when I did just, I did such a simple I only put foundation, setting powder, and mascara and eyebrows. That's literally all I did. And I used the brown for that because it was a more natural look and it was really pretty. I really liked it. Okay. But I mean, you guys, you could just use the, I mean, you could just use the Moodstruck, the Epic mascara. It's just as amazing. It just does different things. Both mascaras are incredible. They just do different things. Okay. And I'll use this one on the bottom of my, like on my bottom lashes.
So that was the Moodstruck, and now the Thor of mascara. This is our Thor, our unique Thor. Um, and the reason, okay, guys, so I was opening my beauty box, a, what was it, a week ago, two weeks ago, whatever it was, and I pulled this out, and I was trying to compare it to something, and Thor was the first thing that came into my mind, and so I lovingly refer to this as the Thor of mascara, and I love the fact that all of our ladies in our little family have adopted the name Thor for our mascara, but the reason I like the name Thor for this is because it makes your lashes bold and strong, and when I think bold and strong, as a comic book nerd, I think of Thor, who I absolutely adore. He's like my favorite. So here we are, the Thor of mascara. So that's kind of how that happened, if anybody was wondering. And it lasts. It ain't going anywhere, you guys. This mascara has lasted me through crying, through all kinds of things. Chasing a toddler, uh, having banana wiped across my face, because, you know, he's two, and, you know, food goes on mommy's face. That's just how it is. And bath time. It lasts through bath time, and it lasts through sweating, and it lasts... I mean, it's not going anywhere. This mascara, once you have it on. But the thing I love about it, too, is how easy it is to get off. I know that's gonna that sounds contradictory, but it is so easy to wash off and that's what I love. I don't I don't wear waterproof because it, I don't like the fact that it takes a year for it to come off. So I will not use waterproof. It's just me. But I don't need to with this because this stuff isn't going anywhere. It's not moving until I'm ready for it to move. And I say move on out. I'm going to bed. Look at those lashes, you guys. Can you see that? Look at that. Holy cow. Yeah. Trina, he is pretty gorgeous. <laughs> he is. I won't lie. He is. Okay, look at that. Wow. You guys, this mascara is a game changer. It's changing the game. It's changing the makeup game, okay? I cannot tell you enough. Like, I have had to wear falsies. I wore falsies on my wedding day. I wore... I wear falsies for photo shoots. I wear falsies, okay? I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I do. I have worn falsies for date night, just because. I'm not doing it anymore. The, uh, I've tried magnetic lashes and the eyeliner to that irritates my eyes really bad. Hi, baby. Hey, honey. My hubby's on. Mwah. Hi, babe. Um, I have the, the eyeliner to the magnetic mascara bothers my eyes and then the glue if I have someone else glue falsies on for me they look fantastic if I try to glue falsies on to myself I glue my eyeball shut okay I'm gonna make myself go blind one day trying to glue falsies on my eyes well guess what guys no more falsies I don't need them anymore because of this mascara I do not need to wear falsies anymore not gonna happen I'm not doing it I'm throwing them in the trash Okay, because there's no need. Look at that. So there it is. That's the 4D Epic Mascara that everybody is talking about, that everybody loves, that everybody is rocking when they go out. So guys, it's all about the eyes. I wonder if I have a face mask in my thing, because I want to show you. I want to show you. Do I have one? No. Do I have one within? Ooh, I do. Okay, so, you know, right now we're all going out with our face masks on and all that stuff. Well, I wanna show you guys something, okay? Look at that. Look at those eyes, right? Popping. Okay, so it's all about the eyes. Take this off, look at that. Clean. You guys, it's clean. This is how amazing this makeup is, okay? I can walk out and I can wear this and I can make my eyes pop in and all focuses on my eyes. Nobody's paying attention to the face mask because all eyes are up here because of this mascara, because of this um, Addiction 4 palette, because of the Moodstruck eyebrow palette. Nobody's looking at my face mask. 
But when I get home from being out grocery shopping or whatever it is I might be doing, my face mask is clean, 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 clean. Okay. Anyway, you guys, I, I cannot express to you enough how much I love these products, how much confidence this company has given me. Um, I joined to have something fun to do while I was in quarantine. That's part of, I mean, that's what I was looking for. Something fun to do while I was in quarantine. I'm not looking to become a millionaire. I'm not looking to whatever the case may be or whatever the misconception might be of this. I am doing this because I'm passionate about makeup and I'm passionate about making women feel the feel like them be, their best selves. I want women to feel their best self. And if that means that I can get on here and I can play with makeup with all my favorite people and teach women how to make themselves feel beautiful and feel like they're their best selves and feel confident when they walk out the door, then that's what I want to do. Who wouldn't want to do that? What female out there would not want to give that to another female? I don't know. Okay. But I do know that I am in love with our products. I'm in love with the company, what it stands for. And I'm in love with the little family that I've gotten. The powerful women that are pushing me every day to be my best self and to um, do the best I can. And I don't know if hubby's still watching or not, but I'm going to give him a shout out. And I'm just going to say that he's, he's been my biggest support. And I would not have been able to do any of this without him and without him backing me. Um, thanks, Brandy. Thank you. I love all of you. I think you guys are beautiful. Um, but yeah, my, my hubby has been um, super supportive with everything that I've wanted to do, no matter how crazy it might sound or, you know, um, whatever the case may be. But I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you guys and doing this right now if it wasn't for his support and him backing me 100%. Um, you know, you're what, behind, you got every strong woman, behind every strong woman is a stronger man pushing her to do, to be her best. And that's how it should be. So thank you, babe. I love you so much. Thank you, thank you. I don't know if you're still watching, but if you are, there it is. Um, <laughs> yes, I love, yes. Everybody love on your hubbies, love on your boyfriends, your significant others, you know, um, just give, give your family an extra squeeze. Um, I just feel like it's important right now, especially. So give those, give your babies an extra hug, give your significant others an extra kiss. Make sure you say, I love you. Like that's, that's really important right now. Um, anyway, I'm done rambling. Thank you guys for joining me, uh, to play makeup and have life talk and just have fun and let loose and be free. Um, I love all of you. Thank you for your support and I will catch you next time.